Good exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So this is organic mechanisms number 26. If you want to check out the other videos in the playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. Hope you like the video, hope you find it helpful. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video, if you want to try it first. So before I go through my answer to this question, so there's lots of possible answers you could give. There's some key points I want to make. So we're going to include the name of the mechanism, the functional group conversion that's taking place, the type of bond fission that's happened, and the name of the product. So in terms of the alkene reaction, there's quite a few options we can choose from. We could go for a halogen with an alkene. That's going to give us a dihaloalkane. We could react the alkene with hydrogen and a nickel catalyst. That's going to give us an alkane. We could react the alkene with steam and an acid catalyst. That's going to give us an alcohol. And we could also react the alkene with a hydrogen halide. And that's going to give us a haloalkane. If we choose an unsymmetrical alkene, so something like propane, we would then have to talk about the stability of the carbocation intermediates and the major and minor products. So the one I've gone for, straightforward ethane with bromine. There's no need to overcomplicate it if you don't need to. So ethane with bromine, that's an alkene or dibromoalkane, and the mechanism is electrophilic addition. So we'll run through the mechanism. So dipole across the bromine molecule, slightly positive nearest the carbon-carbon double bond. Curly arrow from the double bond to the slightly positive bromine, and another curly arrow from the bond between the bromine atoms onto the delta negative bromine. So that's going to give us this intermediate here. So I've put the bromine on the right hand carbon, which means I need a positive charge on the left hand one. The bromine that breaks off will now be in the form of a Br minus ion. So we show a pair of electrons on that and we take a curly arrow from that pair of electrons onto that slightly positive carbon. And that's going to give us our product, 1,2-dibromoethane. So other things we can say, we can say the electrophile is the bromine molecule because it accepts a pair of electrons. And the bond fission is heterolytic because the covalent bond in the bromine molecule is broken and both electrons go to the same atom. So that's what was happening here. And then for the carbonyl reaction, the choices are aldehydroketone with hydrogen cyanide. That's going to give us a hydroxy nitrile. Could have an aldehyde with NaBH4. It's going to give you a primary alcohol. Or you could have a ketone with NaBH4. And that's going to give you a secondary alcohol. So again, keeping it really simple, I'm going for ethanol with KCN and sulfuric acid, which is going to give you that HCN. Um, so we're going from an aldehyde to a hydroxy nitrile. And the mechanism this time is nucleophilic addition. So we'll run through the mechanism now. So we take a cyanide ion from the HCN, we show a pair of electrons on the carbon, and we're going to take um, a curly arrow from that pair of electrons onto that slightly positive carbon. Don't forget your dipole in the C double bond O. And what that's going to do is a pair of electrons in the double bond, it's actually the pi electron pair, they're going to be repelled completely on the oxygen. And we show that with a curly arrow like that. So that's going to give us this intermediate here. So we've just got the sigma bond now between the carbon and the oxygen. Uh, we show a negative charge and a pair of electrons on that oxygen. And then we take the H plus ion from the HCN. And we take a curly arrow from the lone pair on the oxygen onto the H plus. Which gives us our product 2-hydroxy propane nitrile. And then some extra things. The nucleophile is the cyanide ion because it donates a pair of electrons. You see that's going on there. Bond fission's heterolytic again, but this time it's the pi bond in the C double bond all that's broken. And again, both electrons go to the same atom. They're both going to that oxygen. 